Well, hello, my name is Lorraine Brock with Get Organized. I'm a professional organizer and owner of a company called Get Organized. And every Tuesday, I do a Facebook Live segment called Tip Tuesday. And today is Tuesday and this is Tip Tuesday. So today we're going to be talking about organized travel. Now, I could go on and on about little tips big tips that you can do while you're traveling. But I'm gonna keep the tips today to four tips. My family and I, we're not going really anywhere this summer. We're saving our vacation to right after Christmas for one of my son's graduations. But I've traveled enough and I'm organized extremely that I have some tips that I wanna share with you guys. Now, whether you are traveling in the car, flying in an airplane, or doing something more local, there is always things you've got to do and plan and prepare for that trip. Now, obviously things are different depending on how you're traveling and what you can or cannot take. So one of the statements I often make to our clients when we're organizing or teaching them some uh, time management skills is the best defense against chaos is preparation. That's with anything, including getting your travel organized and getting prepared to take that vacation. So I have four tips today and we're gonna jump right in and give you tip number one. Tip number one is to create a storage uh, compartment or drawer or space, could be a container for items that you want to specifically use for travel. Over time, this has been a drawer for me then it increased to a container to me then it went to a drawer and then recently i went through things and i narrowed it back down to a container these are things that you're going to use and only use for when you're traveling i'll show you mine this is mine right now and this is going to appear backwards but it's actually a label and it's just a cardboard piece of paper that i keep in here Uh, that just says travel and I just bend it like this and put it right down. I could use a big label any way you want to work it. So I use this and then inside here I have empty bottles for travel or I have soap containers for bar soap. Uh, This is something I got a long time ago from one of the cruise ships from the Carnival cruise ship that I put around my neck to hold key cards and money and identifications. I have um, uh, outlets if you're going to a foreign country. These are adapters or whatever they are to work with their appliances over uh, across the pond. This is what I keep in here. And of course there's, there's additional stuff as well. So create that storage space. If I was coming into your home and I was going to organize your, say your bathroom or your closet, This would be something one of our organizers or myself would do. When we're sorting your items, we would sort travel items in a completely different category and then organize them so you know exactly where they're at when you get ready for that next vacation. So take some time when you go through your bathroom or your master uh, closet or your bedroom, wherever you're currently keeping travel items, probably mixed in drawers and cabinets, Take the time to sort them and then store them completely separate than your everyday items. All right, tip number two, luggage tags. And I'm gonna show you just a free luggage tag that I picked up. My Many of you guys know that uh, one of my sons is military and we sometimes go to family events depending on uh, if he's going for a deployment or coming back from a deployment and they were just giving away these military luggage tags. So every time that I find luggage tags, I pick them up. This one happens to be from Navy Federal Credit Union, has a little pocket there. Uh, It has a little zip part there. I'm not sure why, little clip here. And you can use these and just clip them onto your suitcases or any kind of bag. What you can do if you have a business card, as I do, if you have a business card, the one of the great things you can do is just take the business card and slide it right into that identification window. And this serves exactly what you need 
for this getting this luggage to get back to you if it for any reason was to get lost. Now let's say you don't have a business card. You're not in business for yourself. There's no need. A tip within a tip is to go get you some of these. Whether you have a business or not, I think it is incredible um, opportunity to give your information to people if you have a little card created for yourself. It could just be a theme of something that you liked. The best site to go get, not, well, virtually free, it's not free, but almost free, uh, business cards, and you get to do sort of like templates, use them, bring in a photo or not, bring in your information is vistaprint.com. I'm sure you've seen those advertised a lot on TV. I think for $9.99, you get like 500 business cards. Again, even if you don't have a business, they're still great. Let's just say you like flowers, okay? You can make a theme of flowers or a theme of colors and shapes. Put your name, your email, your phone number, put what you want, what you don't want, on, leave, you know, leave what you don't want on there. And if someone you're talking to, like, you know, I would love to have lunch with you. Hey, give me a call. It's so convenient than um, having to tell someone and then putting it in their phone. Actually, you might be having to run. There's no time for that. Just hand them a card and they can put that information in their phone or where else they'd like it. This is a great idea to have these. And again, if you do have them, a bonus to them is just to slide it inside of a luggage tag and that creates, my husband was going on a business trip recently and he had switched bags and though there was no information on the luggage tag that I gave him and he goes, hey, I don't have any business cards with me, but give me one of yours. And I'm like, deal, the bags wanna come back to me. I get all the goodies inside of it when you return. Hopefully there's no dirty clothes, so I don't want that. But anyway, there you go. This is a little tip number two. Uh, luggage tags, use a business card or have them made so you can identify your luggage or somebody else can if it happened to get lost. All right, tip number three. Well, I can't use my cell phone for this one because it's obviously doing Tip Tuesday right now. I will show you this product. I don't remember where I got this, but I do believe it came from maybe gromit.com is where I'm thinking it came for. But I have this thing when I go out and about, especially on vacations, that I want my hands free, but I want to keep my cell phone. There is, my husband normally keeps his wallet, so identification may, is normally not an issue. I can put it with his wallet, but my cell phone is the, my biggest thing. I want it, it's my camera. Uh, it is my communication and I, this is rubber and it's waterproof. I'll get this really close to you guys. It has a little pocket here for like identification and then on the back side, it's just plain. But what happens is you can put your cell phone in this and this basically wraps around the corners of your cell phone and then it, this goes around your neck. So your cell phone's right here, your identification, little pockets on the back. And you, what I normally do is put my cell phone upside down. So when I lift this and I look at it, I can see my phone correctly. This has been an outstanding hands-free device for me uh, on traveling. I can tuck it in my shirt if I need to. It's, it's, you know, it's not waterproof, but they do make bags that have like Ziploc seals for waterproof if you're needing something like that. Uh, there is also uh, cell phone cases uh, that you can um, get like waterproof type things, but this itself is not waterproof. Uh, like it will, it'll allow water into your phone, but it is rubber and you're not gonna damage it at all. And again, this stays in my travel box that I showed you in tip number one. So I have that just in case I need it. Now, if I'm gonna to go to Six Flags or something that's not really a, a trip or a vacation, I still know in my mind that that's gonna be with my travel items and it keeps me really organized for that. Okay, so that was tip number three and tip number four. I don't have a visual for this, so I'm gonna explain my final tip, tip number four. It is called a master list. And I have these for various different things in my life that helps me stay organized and know what to get if I'm going somewhere. So let's say that you're doing a trip to the beach or you're doing a trip uh, just to the snow, to Colorado, let's say in the winter. 
wherever your destination is and whatever particular season or theme you have, maybe you take a vacation for Christmas and you always go to family out of state. You might drive or you might fly. Create a master list for each type of venture that you venture out on that gives you everything you need in one document. Now you can do this in a Word document, you can do this in a note-taking app. I would recommend three different categories. You could recommend, um, you could do food in one category, like snacks and things. You could do hygiene and then like um, apparel or uh, personal items, which could also fall under hygiene. Uh, and then you want just, you know, just supplies that you need. Depending, let's say if you're going on a camping trip, you're going to definitely need supplies for that where otherwise you may not need as many if you're going, you know, skiing, for example. But keep your categories in your document or keep them on a note-taking app. And then when you're ready to start packing for that particular outing or adventure, then you pull that particular one up and you can see all the things that you need without having to forget anything. And I'll give you a, a couple examples I mentioned earlier, like winter trips, uh, camping trips, summer vacations and holiday travel. If you're, you know, depending, that may be different versus flying versus driving. There may be certain things you take, but start that. I, I would just start the next vacation you take, just take a brain dump. And when I say brain dump, that means basically everything that you are trying to remember and everything that you keep forgetting, just dump your brain on what you need to get ready for that vacation on something, on a, on a tablet or on a piece of paper, on a laptop, something, and then organize them into categories, save it, and the next time you're going to that particular outing, print or look it up and see what you need. And I guarantee you, you are going to forget less items and be so much better organized on your travel. Absolutely. And I have done this myself and love it. And sometimes even I've been doing this for years, I'll have different ones even now, depending on the type of trip that we take. Um, our grandkids um, are currently right now five, four, and two. In the back of my mind, I keep thinking, here soon I want them to go on a trip with us. It could be on a road trip. It could be um, on a camping trip. It could be something that we do with them for you know two or three days. Well, that's going to create an entire different list if you're taking little ones and I don't live in that little world anymore with little kids. So I'm going to have to come up with a new master list for traveling with grandkids and that's going to be particularly to my needs and my season of life so whatever yours are create those master lists and it will definitely save you time all right well that's our tips today they were short and sweet but definitely i think effective in keeping you organized so let's go on to our giveaway this week and it's just a real simple giveaway i keep one of these in the back of my vehicle at all times but it is a blue IKEA bag. And you can get these at IKEA, uh, but I, you can get this one from me, and I have probably about three of these. I keep uh, one in my husband's car at all times, and one in my car at all times, and then one in the house. And the reason why is they're extremely strong, they are easily stored, and you just never know what you're going to have um, as far as a large capacity of items that need to be moved, and it's great. I mean, if I'm going to a, the other day I went to an estate sale, and I'm like, I'm just, I don't, I, I want to grab it before somebody else gets it, and I want to put it in this bag, and then I'll check out at the end. So it was great. Keep these in every vehicle that you potentially would be in, and I promise you it will make life more convenient. So we're going to give this away. Uh, it's an IKEA bag for this week, and so how do you win it? So each week, I give away some kind of item, and how do you win it is by leaving a comment down below, and this week, we want comments on what you do to stay organized with your travel. So if you have a tip, we would love to hear about it. Some tip that you use with your family, your season of life, something you use in the past that doesn't apply now, share it with us, and you'll be entered by next Sunday night if you make a comment You'll be entered into the drawing and then we'll announce you next week on Tip Tuesday. 
Okay, our Tip Tuesday tool of the week. Every week, I love this part of Tip Tuesday because I get to look for creative, uh, new resources, ideas, and products that help you guys get organized. And I get to share with you tools that I've either used myself or, or found and said, this is gonna be a cool tool. I may not use it, but someone out there is going to get to use it and have a benefit of using that specific tool. This week in our Tip Tuesday tools, love, you don't even know what's in here. Don't get so excited yet. Just wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now, I sometimes stay in the theme of what we're talking about. Other times I go way out of the box. And so today I'm actually staying in the box and I'm talking about this hygiene bag. Now, I bet a lot of you have these. I wanted, if you don't, it is so worth getting one, but I want one that's big. And I normally carry not only my items, but when, my, when I travel, I travel 99% of the time, I travel with my husband. So he also needs, it needs to be a really large size so we can put our things in it. Now, I do keep this somewhat already pre-packed, but I also know that that may differ from you based on how often you travel. You need something like this, and you're going to be looking, let's do this way, you're going to be looking for a really good hook up here. I'd make sure you get metal, not plastic. It will last longer. And I always keep some cash in here. Uh, that was from our last trip, because I just sometimes may need a meal if I've lost everything or something. So I keep a little cash in here. I like clear windows and I wanted to make sure this was large enough for bottles like moose bottles or spritzer bottles. Not necessarily the small travel ones, even though that I do have those, but I wanted to make sure I had the room for the bottle. So it was very important to me to get something larger than what the bottles that I use. And you'll need to measure that. Also down here, I went and purchased um, different places. I went and purchased some individual bags. I did not get them at the same place. I was looking around town. Little bags that can keep other little things inside. So a bag in a bag. But I wanted, again, this to be clear where I could see it. It's harder to find clear. I definitely have to say I struggled more with this, but look everywhere. And when you notice them, especially after um, Valentine's Day at Walmart, you'll see a lot of these cosmetic bags on for cheap, cheap, cheap. Grab them, especially if they're clear and they're great for being able to use inside of this. Um, I have my conditioner that's still in here, my shampoo, and then I keep my, my face wash, like my Noxzema type things in here. Then I have another little pouch down here which, um, let's see what's in here. I didn't even actually look. Uh, this is more of um, uh, face washing stuff, Q-tips, things like that. But you can have another little bag inside of here. I just know that I wanted something that had more clear pockets than it, than it had ones that you couldn't see through. And there is another one, another pocket, as many pockets as I can get on the back side. Uh, here as well. And again, look at here. I have another bag. This one actually has some band, a Band-Aid in it, some allergy medication, um, a hotel sewing kit. I always keep one of those in there. Never know when you're going to get something, a button or something falling off uh, powder. So this is more of my first aid type uh, emergency kit. And I've really loved this one. I've got this one off of Amazon. I really did. I liked uh, what I saw there. But these, I believe, I got at a store off of Harry Hines in Dallas. Uh, they have a lot of discounted stores down there. I just went shopping one day and found a whole bunch of these. So like that. And it just happened to be in the, in the same color tone. So look for something like I'm talking about uh, anywhere that you can find them. Uh, Ulta would be a very good place or Ulta. Uh, pronouncing that correctly, uh, would be a very good place to look at that too. Walmart, Target, um, Home Goods would be really good uh, to look for that. And even probably at home would be as well. Okay, next tip Tuesday. I'm going to cover three different websites that will be really helpful for you for space planning. Let's say you would like to redo a room, um, add a piece of furniture to that room, some of these sites are like $5 or less. 
Others are completely free, but they're based off of a particular store that you would buy a piece of furniture from someone. So I'm gonna give you, it right now I think it's gonna be three. I might end up having a few more. We'll see that next week, so tune in. But we're gonna talk about space planning sites. They are a great resource to have, even if you don't need them now. Eventually you're gonna to wanna to play around with a space before you actually buy something. And these will be some really, really good resources for you. Um, each week I like to highlight a service that we offer as at Get Organized. Now we have about, I think we have a close to 30 organizers that service both Dallas, Fort Worth, East Texas, and Oklahoma City up north. They all have talents in every, I mean, general organization all through your home, absolutely. But some of them have really specific niches that they are just incredible with. So if you're needing organizing services, particularly today we're talking about toiletries and travel. If you're needing help making your closet look like a boutique, or you've got so many cosmetic items and first aid, it is just overflowing into the bathtub, into your sinks. Give us a call. You would be just over, overly joyed to see what these organizers can do for your space and how quickly it can be done. We can give you a vision and you can do the work yourself or we can come in and knock it out. Normally in a bathroom or a closet, it can be done in a eight hour day with two organizers. Again, depending on your density of uh, what you have in there, how thick your clutter is. Uh, we're gonna go through all your makeup. Uh, we're gonna go through all your items in your closet. We will end up making your closet look like a boutique and you you will wanna go in there every day and, and get organized to get dressed <laughs> and just live in there. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. So if you need bathroom closet organization, give us a call, leave a message down below and we'll also call you that way as well. All right, so that's it for Tip Tuesday, short and sweet. I'm actually heading out the door to head to East Texas and Tyler tonight. I'm going to be speaking to the Tyler Housing Community Project manager down there. They're doing a workshop and they have invited me in. So I'm going to talk about decluttering to sell your home. Okay, lastly, just a reminder, you want to win the IKEA bag. I'll send it to you. It's part of our giveaway this week. Leave a comment down below of what is your travel tip that you love, it's a great idea that you do with your family, and let us know. We love to be able to learn something that maybe our viewers and fans don't already know about getting organized for traveling. So I am thankful that you joined in to Tip Tuesday. We are on our 40th episode this week. I can't believe it. We're getting close to a year. That's incredible, incredible. So Tip Tuesday, every Tuesday we bring you organizing tips that are practical, sometimes somewhat funny, and all about getting your home, life, or business organized. So tune in with me every Tuesday on Tip Tuesday, and I'll see you next week on Tip Tuesday. Thanks, guys. Have a very organized night.